Hi, I'm Julie, Fayfan Balzer, and today I want to talk to you about saving, exporting, and opening files in Canvas Workspace for your PC. I'm here in Canvas Workspace for my PC, and I've just created this beautiful file that says let it snow with a snowflake, and I want to save it. So, if I go up to File, and I can have two save options. One is Save, and one is Save As. So if we just go to save, I want to show you the option there. You can see that save as the file type, if you click on it, it's the only option that you have, CWPRJ, which basically I think of as Canvas Workspace Project. That is the file extension that it's going to be. So I can simply type in the name, let it snow, choose where I want to save it, and then hit save. Now, let's say I made some sort of small edit to this file. Let's say I added in another shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in maybe a raindrop. So here's my raindrop and my oval and you know whatever else I wanted to add in. So now I've added some things. So now I want to save it again, but I don't want to overwrite the previous file. So that is when you go ahead and say file, save as. Now I can save it as let it snow additions. And again, it's gonna save it as the same thing, but now it's gonna be a separate file instead of overwriting the original if I wanna leave that original alone. But you know that to cut, you need an FCM file or an SVG. So I go up to File. This is not considered saving when you export an FCM file. So I'm gonna click on Export. Even though it is a version of saving, just if you're trying to save it as an FCM, notice, know that you have to look for the word Export. So now I can save this as an FCM file, Let It Snow Editions and I can save it on exactly where I want to, on the desktop, and hit save, and that will save that. The other option I have, which again is, is um, this is definitely not saving it, which is transfer the FCM file. That is gonna send my file to my wirelessly activated scan and cut. So if I click on that, I'm going to now find that file on my scan and cut. From the home screen, I'm choosing pattern and the wireless button. Ta-da! There's our incredible file, which of course I can do whatever I want with now at this point. It's just another cutting file. Now it is not saved, okay? I did not save it when I exported it to here. If I go home again, it'll be gone. So if I want to save it, I need to use the save button in the machine. And in that case, I have my options to save it into the machine, to scan and cut canvas, to a USB thumb drive, or direct to my PC. Now, also under the file menu, you may have noticed import SVG FCM file. So if I wanted to import a file, either in a file extension SVG or FCM, I could use that. And right here, you can see I have several options. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in this one, open it up, and you can see there it is. The next option, however, is what if I want to open a file that I've saved. So I'm going to hit open. And what you can see is my PC is only showing me these Canvas Workspace project files, no FCM files. So for that, I can just open the Let It Snow and say open. And I'm gonna say I don't wanna save the changes to that. I'm gonna go ahead and open a new file and there's my original Let It Snow. So let's just go down really quickly so that you can remember what each of these is for. So open is when you want to open a Canvas Workspace project file. Save allows you to save as a Canvas Workspace project file. Save as allows you to, again, save as a Canvas Workspace project file, but not overwrite your original file. Import SVG FCM is opening an SVG or an FCM file. And exporting an FCM is going to save it as an FCM file. And finally, transferring your FCM file is when you're going to send it wirelessly to your wirelessly activated scan and cut. 
Thanks so much for watching. I hope this cleared up some of the questions you might have about working with files in Canvas Workspace for your PC. For more tips, tricks, and tutorials, be sure to visit my blog at balgerdesigns.typepad.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, don't forget about the Scanning Cut website at scanningcut.com. <laughs>